We want to go now to breaking news in downtown Los Angeles where crews are battling a fire in a commercial building. And Gil Levis is overhead in Sky 5. Gil? Yeah, Rick and Sherry, you're looking at the intersection of 9th Street and San Pedro. L.A. City Fire got the call of a structure fire here at about 940 tonight. As you can see, this uh, it's a textile business here in the Fashion District. It's a 150 by 100 foot commercial structure that caught fire here. They When they arrived, they found fire through the roof as you're seeing it. Now, that front portion you're seeing there, there's a, a it's called a, a four-story center hall portion of the building. It uh, doesn't appear that the fire is in that, but they did uh, start to evacuate firefighters from the roof that got up there right away. They went defensive on this fire, and as you can tell, they have their hands full here with fire through the roof of the uh, back portion of that commercial structure right now. I can tell you the streets are closed down right now. More fire fighting apparatus are being sent into the firefight here. But again, this fire burning out of control here in downtown LA. The, the address is 705 East 9th Street. And uh, in the front, the frontage there, there's a lot of uh, fabric stores that says on the signs there. So you can imagine what's in the, what's burning there in that uh, section of the building. But at this point, firefighters have their ladder pipes up. They have it in a surround and drown situation. And uh, so far, uh, they're, they're battling this with no end in sight. Yeah, Gil, I know you mentioned all the shops out front. It's quite possible, I guess, that people might have been working there tonight. Any word on ambulances coming and going with the people that have been injured? Well, we haven't heard of any injuries at this point, Rick. Uh, let me zoom in here to the front, and there's uh, quite a few people out on the street. Looks like some people moving some uh, fabrics or clothing there on that rack, and some people out that are in that storefront is there. You can see them standing there. Fortunately, that fire is not into, into that portion of the of the structure itself, but directly behind it is where that uh, warehouse is that is burning, and it, it looks like the firefighters are holding it and keeping it from spreading to that front that store uh, frontage. Yeah, uh, look at that again, a surround and drown uh, situation here that that's the stance that the firefighters are taking. Uh, you can see uh, all of that water being doused on those flames in this one story commercial building fire that we see there. Roads around it obviously are closed uh, to the public and 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 uh, for those motorists that that want to get through to this area. Um, it does look like it is next to an apartment building, if I'm correct. Uh, I'm wondering if there are any evacuations um, that are uh, underway here at this building next to this uh, fire. You know, we haven't heard of uh, actual talk of evacuations. I see a few people up on the top. I hope that's firefighters and not residents of that building there. I can see someone in a, a like a blue shirt there. That person does not look like it's a firefighter at all. That person needs to get off. Those people actually need to get off the roof and uh, evacuate and get away from this fire because that could sim easily spread to that building. Well, you can see on the right corner of the screen there, Gil, in your picture, the fire seems to be wanting to extend out as far as it can. They keep the water cannons coming in on this one particular corner here to keep it from spreading to whatever that is on the right of the screen there. Yeah, I was looking at that, trying to see what uh, they have there. It looks like, I'm going to push in, if that's what you're talking about yeah, right there, Rick. Yeah, exactly. It looks like a portion of that roof has already burned through and collapsed. So, uh, but they're, uh, you know, initially when the firefighters get on scene, they put a team up on the roof to uh, evaluate the, the uh, roof conditions. Yeah. And uh, they also get units inside to fight the fire. But they, they called it really quick defensive mode. So they pull everyone out of the building, off the roof and fight it from outside. Yeah, just on the right over there on the screen, we saw some sparks flying a couple of minutes ago. There may be firefighters on the ground there with their flashlights and maybe using a saw of some sort to cut through and hopefully get, you can see those sparks there flying up onto the screen there and firefighters to the right with their flashlights. So they are to the outside of this kind of looking in, maybe trying to judge exactly how much fuel share there is ahead of them. Right, and, and you also see these power lines as well. I mean, that also comes into play uh, when these power lines are so close and these embers could fly off uh, and, and ignite those sure. power lines as well. So, you know, truly it, it, it is a dangerous situation, not just where the fire is happening, but in the perimeter around it as well. And so when we see people that are on the roof there that possibly are residents of that building um, next to the fire, that becomes a problem because obviously the it's going to be light 
life sure. before property, and that's what the firefighters are going to go for. They're going to make sure that uh, the people are safe before they do anything else. And so in, in order to... Um, you know, make sure that the firefighters are able to do their job and, and get this fire out before any more damage can be yeah. done. It's really best for the public to keep their phones in their pockets, move away and do as the firefighters are asking them to do. Yeah, I think the people on the roof heard Gil earlier. Yeah, and may I have, think so They have too. taken to the fire escapes <laughs> and gotten down onto the ground. You see a lot of dark smoke, uh, Gil, as if they're really starting to get a handle on this. But then all of a sudden we're seeing flames flashing back up through the smoke. Yeah, the white smoke is good uh, is a good sign. The dark smoke is bad sign. Uh, that means it's getting into other product. But uh, at this point, is it, they're they're still calling it a defensive fire. I can hear the firefighters uh, uh, trying to get uh, the upper hand on this, uh, trying to get into different positions, better positions. Now I see what looks like a firefighter on top of that apartment mm -hmm. structure there. That's part of the roof uh, or part of this uh, building. So yeah, a couple firefighters up there now. They got those people off the top, and that's good. That's a good sign, but yeah, like you said, Rick, a lot of smoke coming up here. Let me come out to a wide shot. Now, we can't get directly over this right now because sure. of the Dodger game. There's a temporary flight restriction, but we're having to shoot it from south of the 10 freeway. But you can see how much smoke is billowing up here in the area. But again, as I push in, you can see some heavy flame lengths coming out of that center of that uh, commercial portion of the, of the structure. Yeah.